name is Lina. Today we are going to make a toy goat from wool felt. Here is what you will need for this project. A sewing pattern for the goat. Please see the link in the description to this video. Quilters freezing paper to easily transfer the pattern to felt sheets. Felt sheets of two colors, preferably from natural wool. You will need two bright sheets and one dark sheet. Stainless steel wire for making the frame. I used 16 gauge wire from Home Depot for this. Wool bedding for stuffing the animal. Glass safety eyes or any eyes you have. You can also embroider eyes. Small accessories, such as this bell, which will make the toy look even nicer. Some wool roving for the beard. You will need some pins and needles. Wire cutters and small pliers to bend the wire. Scissors, both large and small. And some embroidery thread. I will have the list of all tools and materials in the description to this video. We will start by printing the pattern on the quilter's freezing paper. After that we cut all the pattern pieces out. Sharp scissors make it easy to cut out small details. When all the shapes are cut, lay them out on a felt sheet to iron. Use white color for the following shapes. Body, belly and leg insides. Head, tail, ear. Freezing paper sticks to felt when ironed and it makes it easier to cut the shapes from felt. Cut the white pattern pieces from felt. You will need another piece of body and also belly and legs made from white felt. Now from the dark felt you will need to cut out tip of the tail, four horns, four hooves and two ears. Here are all the felt pieces you need to have for making your goat. You can also find the number of pieces required, indicated on the pattern sheet. We start by making the wireframe for goat legs, so that it can stand. You will also be able to adjust the leg positions with the wire inside. I use the shape of the body on the table to size my wire frame. I bend the wire to know the approximate size I need to cut and I make a frame for two legs first. I also bend the ends of the wire to form round hooves. I make another frame like that for the second pair of legs. Now let's start sewing the goat body. Cut the embroidery thread and split it into strands if necessary, so that it's thinner. I use embroidery thread which has six strands. For finer look I use two or three strands only. I start from sewing the two white belly pieces together with a blanket stitch. I only stitch the belly side, do not stitch the legs just yet.
I then take the two body parts and secure them to the belly pieces with pins. Securing the legs makes it easier to stitch them. I continue the blanket stitch on one of the back legs. Here, when I get to the bottom of the leg, I sew the dark hoof part right away. But perhaps a better way is to leave the hoof part open. It will be easier to stuff the legs and adjust the wireframe if the hooves are not sewn yet. You do this for four legs. After I'm done with the legs, I stitch the tail. Attach the white bottom part first and use the dark part for the top. When the tail part is done, let's put in the wireframe and stuff the legs with wool. I take the wool bedding and start wrapping it around the wireframe. I avoid using synthetic materials and use natural wool for stuffing. I insert the wool wrapped wire into the legs, sometimes using forceps. You have to cross the leg wires so that the right front leg uses the same wire as the left rear one. Crossing the frames in such manner will make the goat more stable. After the wire frame is in, I stuff the legs with more wool using forceps or chopsticks. Stuff the legs so that they are firm. If you haven't sewn the hooves yet, you can stuff the bottom of the legs as well and then attach the hooves. After the legs are done, add some more wool to the body and close it using a blanket stitch. Attach the head part starting from the neck. Here, I leave the front of the neck open for attaching the eyes. I used glass eyes with pins for this project, and here is how I attach them. I insert the eyes and then bend the pins with pliers. If you have safety eyes, you can just use the clip that comes with the eyes. You can also glue or embroider the eyes. Close the remaining part of the chest and neck while fully stuffing the goat with wool. After the body is done, I stitch the horns with blanket stitch and stuff them just a little bit.
I then attach the horns to the top of the head. You can use either a blanket stitch or leather stitch for that. Then attach and stuff the ears in the same manner as the horns. Now we embroider the face of the goat, the nose, the mouth and some wrinkles around the eyes. I also take a small piece of wool and attach it to the chin using a fine felting needle to make the beard. I hang a little bell around the goat's neck and that's it. We have a toy goat that kids can play with. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please press like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!